The pier here on Mosul is really important because that is how people access the island. That's the only place to get on. So it's not just for tourism, it's for the farmer, it's for Shelton, it's for everybody. Well, we were first alerted to the pier being damaged around about February, March time. As you can see down here, quite a large part of the pier was uh, damaged in a storm last winter. This part of the pier was probably was 70 years old. I knew it was going to be a big job. So myself and my son, we asked for advice from the NASA engineering people and they told us what they required doing as far as reinforcing goes the metal work you see here. And we've bored all the holes and we've done all that part of it ourselves. And then NASA engineering came in and uh, they've put up all this wooden part of shuttering. Since we're having to do this job and it's quite a big job, uh, we're resurfacing the whole thing, so hopefully we won't have to do any more repair, but that'll be a good quality pier for a long, long time to come. To get the amount of concrete required in here to resurface this pier and to fill up that hole, we looked at all the different options and we opted for the helicopter option, lifting in hoppers full of concrete. They can transport about three quarters of a ton at a time. It's just one nautical mile from the pickup point the concrete mixing truck puts the concrete into the hopper, the helicopter picks it up, takes it here, and under the direction of the concrete finishing people, Nash Engineering, he'll dump the concrete wherever they want it, and he'll go back, and another skip will be ready, another hopper will be ready, and so on. And that'll go on until the pier is completed. You can see it's going to be a bit thicker at its point where it receives the most force from the sea. So that's given it that little bit of extra strength, but all that weight of concrete, I, I think, you know, it's not going to move again.